Hey there, good morning guys. It's Deirdre from Vegan Delight. And we just finished up uh, Waldorf School. So it's Friday and Fridays we do a class at the Waldorf School. So I really like it here. It's a very like natural, organic um, experience. Um, like I told you guys a little bit about it before, all the toys are wooden and made of natural fibers. And um, you know, they bake uh, a vegan snack for snack time uh, with apples. And they actually bake right in the room. There's a little kitchen. So they serve the vegan muffins and then they also slice apples, which the kids actually help to um, peel and slice. And then, uh, you know, glasses of water and nice napkin. Uh, so it's a really nice experience. Uh, the class is three hours long. The last half hour we are outside, so uh, it's negative 10 and it was freezing cold outside. We are so cold. So the kids were all bundled up in their um, snow suits and you want your blanket, Johnny? It's a beautiful sunny day. You can see it's beautiful here. Actually, I'm on the grounds now of the school. And so the school's on like a really huge property. And this school goes up to grade 12. So it starts parent and taught and it goes all the way up to grade 12. Um, so we'll see. I'd like to put the kids in here for at least kindergarten. It is a private school, so it's um, quite expensive. But I really like their philosophy. Um, it's really about nurturing the child's emotional side, um, allowing them to be creative. So, uh, so yeah, we're having a good time here. So, so I'll just show you. I packed my snack uh, to come. So, uh, we did have snack time in there, but I did pack myself a smoothie. So this is um, apple juice with um, mango. Uh, so I have this to drink now, and then I also packed myself raisins. Um, I've got my water, so I'm all prepared to be out for a few hours and um, keep myself fueled, keep myself hydrated. Um, the kids are pretty full from their snacks, but I do have, I brought them some granola bars and some fruit. And uh, they have their juice and water, so we are good to go. All right, so we are at home and we've sort of just been chilling out this afternoon. We have decided to make some fruit art. So I'll show you mine. Let's see. That's my fruit art today. And now Charlize is working on her. So we got some cut up strawberries and some raspberries. And then we're just using the tops of these strawberries as well for the art. Hi nice, Charlize. So just a fun way, like that's the thing if people say, how do you get your kid to eat fruits or vegetables? like getting them to work with them. So letting them make the smoothies or letting them spread hummus on the crackers or preparing some fruit art like this, that makes it fun for them and makes them uh, want to eat it. So yeah, that's a good tip for anybody who's struggling with getting the fruits and veggies into their little ones. Yeah. Do you love your fruits? Yeah. Are we gonna eat those strawberries now? Yeah. All right, so I am at the end of the day, and today actually was a day off my training, so I didn't have to um, do any big workout today, so that was kind of nice. I always look forward to my um, day off, although I sometimes do feel guilty, like I should be doing something, but um, I think it's healthy mentally to do it. So I'm just sitting down, I'm about to eat, and I'm doing a raw meal again, so there's my zucchini noodles, and um, the sauce is fresh tomatoes, dates, uh, basil, fresh basil, and garlic, and that's pureed up in the Vitamix, and I just pour it on there. Well, I strain it first to get the water out so it's nice and thick, and then um, I have an avocado vegetable roll, so there's avocado in there, lettuce, uh, red cabbage, and carrot, and then just some sort of like plum sauce to dip that in. So high carb, tasty goodness. Um, I also wanted to say like, you know, I come on here and I talk about how healthy I am and I eat all my fruits and vegetables and I work out and this, I'm all great at that stuff. But the one thing that I am really bad about and what is very unhealthy is I don't get enough sleep. So I probably get about seven hours of sleep a night and I think as an athlete, you should at least, like eight hours should be the minimum. I think nine hours is nice. Like when John and I go away and I get a chance to sleep nine hours every night, um, I, that's when I feel my best. So I know that's what I should be getting. 
And there's no reason I can't get it. I mean, we don't, the kids don't wake up till seven. So all I have to do is go to bed, like be sleeping by 11 to get eight hours, sleeping by 1030. And then, you know, I would be super duper rested. Um, but it's just so difficult because the kids go to bed at eight and then John and I eat. So we're not finished eating before 8.39. So then you wanna like hang out for an hour or two um, just to, you know, be alone and have that quiet time together. So it's really hard to get um, to get enough sleep. So that's where I definitely need improvement. Um, so that's it. Today I we did the Waldorf school. That was really fun. I showed you guys a little bit of that footage. And tomorrow, actually I have a kid's birthday party. So I'm taking the kids to a birthday party. And I was a little bit, so when, the, when I got invited to the party, I um, right away said, yeah, of course we'll come. I'd love to come. And then it just sunk in because we haven't gone to a birthday party before. We're vegan. <laughs> so I approached her and I said, listen, we are vegan. Um, I will bring my kids their own pizza and their own uh, cupcakes. And so she says, no, 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 don't be silly. I will get the cupcakes. And uh, what should I do for pizza? And I said, just order pizza. Just make sure there's no um, cheese. I get one of them, half no cheese. Uh, so she said, no, 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 no problem. So it was cool because they were vegetarian already. So she kind of, I guess, was uh, more understanding than maybe a, a non-vegetarian <coughs> vegan would have been. Uh, so that's good. So we'll see how that goes. Tomorrow we got the birthday party. And uh, yeah, I think we'll have fun. So that's the end of the video. If you guys liked it, press the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.